Today we'll be focusing on how the Kaleido Information Engine can be used by data scientists and other Power BI users to analyze data projections alongside historical reference and transaction data to make informed business decisions. We are looking at the detailed business model for analyzing the revenues of a property and casualty insurer. The key to revenues is, of course, earned premiums. Those transactions are represented by the rounded teal box in the center of the model. Also represented are the corresponding unearned premiums, payments made by customers, and a set of metrics that are kept on those key revenue components. Lines of the same color as the transactions link them to the tan square boxes. Those square boxes define the reference data at the insurance company, the company's policies, insured assets, customers, and sales organization, for example. The blue boxes inside the tan ones describe the various hierarchies and business rules of each of those types of data. For example, a policy is tied to a specific insurance product type, has a policy status. The model tells us that every policy must have these elements, and any policy records that do not will have to be fixed before they can be added to the warehouse. We know a policy status is mandatory because the line between policy and policy status is solid. This represents a mandatory relationship in the model. Not all relationships are mandatory. Some are optional, as denoted by the dashed lines. If we move over to the sales organization, we see a relationship between license and person that is dashed, denoting that the license information may not be available for a person who in this context can be classified as either an agent or a broker. Also notice that the organization has a recursive relationship looping back to itself. This denotes that Kaleido will be managing a ragged hierarchy tree within organization and that tree can have multiple levels. The result of describing these requirements graphically is to automate the warehouse structures as well as data loading and validation routines. A business analyst is looking at an ad hoc report of earned premium for home and auto insurance products in the southwestern states of California, Arizona, and Texas. Right away, the analyst notices that our auto insurance is lagging far behind our home insurance in both Texas and California. The analyst wants to determine if bundling home and auto insurance together in this region would have a positive impact on earned premium. Working together, the warehouse architect will add the requirement to the Kaleido Business Information Model as the business analyst describes what is required. While together, they can confirm the relationships are correct and mutually understood. Creating the bundle construct is as simple as drawing a new class of business entity in the model. We also want to record the discount percentage for bundles as an attribute. The Attribute tab allows us to define the attribute quickly and even decide whether we want to display it with the policy bundle. Next, the analyst will define where this new product bundle class sits in the policy hierarchy. The bundle is defined as a parent of the product type by drawing a line from product type to policy bundle. Since the policy bundle data has not yet been loaded, it makes sense to change the rule of this relationship from mandatory to optional. While the relationship is selected, the Association tab at the right allows this change to be made easily. The business analyst wants to be able to include some projections of increase in earned premium that would ha have been made during the past year had the bundles been offered. To include them, the warehouse architect draws a new transaction data set to store the projections data. Once the transaction is drawn, Kaleido points out that there is still work to be done to prepare it for synchronization into the warehouse. The errors at the bottom left of the slide out panel must be cleared before we are ready to, to deploy. The first issue states that the transaction must have one or more measures. We'll remedy that first by creating a new measure to hold projected premium and then adding it to our transaction. The next issue indicates that the transaction should be associated with one or more classes. We'll draw those associations. 
Finally, the warehouse architect will complete a few more housekeeping tasks, like naming the physical tables that will hold the transaction data and grouping bundle gains into a transaction class. That's it. The warehouse changes are ready to deploy. The heart of Kaleido's automation is deploying those changes to the warehouse directly from the model. First, the warehouse architect may want to review the changes. He can do that by clicking the View Changes button at the right. A pop-up window shows the changes on the right and the model view on the left. With the changes reviewed, he is ready to deploy. When deploying changes, Kaleido automatically creates a checkpoint so the changes can be rolled back if needed. And Kaleido keeps a full history of the model as well as the data, fulfilling historical reporting and audit requirements that just aren't attainable from other solutions. With the changes made, the next step is to add new data to support the change. We have now switched to the DIW Explorer, a tool for warehouse practitioners to create data feeds, tweak the physical schema where required, manage load tasks, and define in-warehouse analytics like those required by our business analyst. Our warehouse professionals have already landed the data and created load routines to bring in both the new reference data which defines how product types are grouped into bundles, as well as the feed for loading the data projections. The heart of a collateral load routine is mapping source data, on the left, directly to the model objects on the right. An interesting facet of this load routine is that bundles are created directly in it, using the create modify BE transformation in the middle of the mapping screen. The set of available transformations is displayed on the bottom of the screen. Here we see the result of running that load in the reference data that is available for browsing. The Southwest Home and Auto Bundle has four product types, while the other products are grouped under a No Bundle heading. Warehouse practitioners and business analysts find this ability to browse and search the reference data extremely useful in verifying the hierarchies were loaded correctly. Here we see a mart that has been created by our business analyst. Kaleido marts are frequently created and managed by business data experts. The measures used in the mart include the actual 2012 earned premium for customers assuming no bundles had been implemented, the projected premium revenue estimates that would be generated were the bundles implemented, and lastly a calculated measure defined directly within Kaleido calculates the amount of current earned premium that would be lost if the same customers could save 10% by bundling home and auto together. The dimension tab displays two hierarchies policy and time. New hierarchies and levels can be dragged in from the panel at the left at any time. When we click on the summary window, we see that for the two transaction data sets at the left, the dimensions and measures have some viability gaps. Recall from the model that both the projections and the actual earned premium are linked to the bundle. Earned premium reaches the bundle by way of the policy and its product type whereas the projections are made at the level of the bundle itself. Different paths to the same data. And that's okay. It's how the data is organized in the real world, and our business analysts can analyze it as it is. Those analyses are rendered in two distinct forms. First is an Excel pivot table, oftentimes the most flexible way for data scientists and business analysts to view the data quickly. The second is a ClickView data mart sourced directly from Kaleido. The results show that while earned premium, if bundles were offered, would increase to $43.4 million, this would not be enough to offset the $4.1 million impact of having all existing customers take advantage of the bundle when the revenue without bundling is already $41 million. If the situation needs further and more detailed monitoring, state by state for example, a ClickView dashboard, also generated by Kaleido, may help with that. However the data is presented, the process of making new model artifacts available to the business analyst happens much faster with Kaleido, allowing them to better keep pace with your changing business.